Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you selected one of the charts of accounts that are available from one of the many sample companies in order to create your company files chart of accounts, then your customer defaults may already be set for you. If you didn't use this method of creating your chart of accounts, or if you would simply like to verify that these are the settings that you would actually like to use, then you should verify the default customer settings within the Customer Defaults window by selecting Maintain from the menu bar, rolling down to Default Information, and then choosing Customers. The Customer Defaults window is where you set the values that you wish to have appear by default for new customers when you create them in Peachtree. Setting the most frequently assigned customer options here means that you won't typically have to enter as much data as would otherwise be needed when you create a new customer record in the future. So in the Customer Defaults window, you can click the Terms and Credit tab to set what will be considered the standard terms for customer payments. Remember that you are setting the default values here so you want to set the most common terms used so you won't have to change them for each customer record that you create in the future. You must also set the general ledger account number used for customer discounts here as well. You can then set the discount percentages as needed. You can set a default credit limit that will apply to all customers. And credit status, which started in Peachtree 2005, determines how Peachtree will handle transactions that place the customer over their credit limit by default. On the Account Aging tab, you set the default aging definition and brackets for your customer invoices. The Custom Fields tab allows you to create up to five additional data storage fields within which you can track custom customer data. You define the fields, what data they will store, within this window. You can then fill in these values when you later create the actual customer records. On the Finance Charges tab, you can set up the default parameters under which you apply finance charges to your customers. Finance charges are calculated by multiplying the number of days past due by the daily finance charge rate, then by the outstanding invoice amount. The Pay Methods tab allows you to set up to 10 methods of payment that your business accepts. These should be entered from top to bottom, starting with the most frequently used to the least frequently used. When you're finished, simply click the OK button to set your customer defaults. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.